Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to provide you with a love reading for today. I hope you're doing well. I hope things are going great for you on the 1st of January 2021. Wow, the Justice card is flipping. Put it back in, but it probably will come out again. Let's see. What is coming in for Aries? Love and relationships. Aries, love and relationships. Aries love. Love and relationships for Aries. Okay, what is coming in for the Aries folks today? Sun and Capricorn, Saturn and Jupiter and Aquarius. The Six of Pentacles, financial balance. 50-50. So it's like somebody, it's given, it's charity, being charitable. Earth energy that's giving could be about money, but let's see. What else do we have here for Aries? The Empress, great abundance, wealth, very fertile, flourishing, someone who has material resources to give. Okay, so what is in the influencing energy here for Aries? Some of you could be dealing with a parent or a mother. So we have here a nine of pentacles, earth energy, self-sufficiency, independence, a life of financial comfort, could be single. We have here a four of wands, a stable, happy home. Things are stable. Things are, you've achieved a goal of stability in your life in some way. Maybe you've met someone if you haven't met someone, then your life is stable, your job is stable. Hermit, okay, spending time alone, withdrawing into the hermit cave to figure something out. A very wise person, someone who turns within for the answers. Upcoming energy for Aries and love. Upcoming energy. The moon. Okay, so something hidden. Something that feels uncertain. Something that is elusive. It's like you don't really know what's going on. Knight of Cups is you. You're the bearer of good news. I feel like you're the one who's like motivating people. You're bringing in good news. Could be somebody coming towards you, but it's coming up as you. Magician around you. Okay, this can be a manipulative type of person because if they're around you and it's not you, they're trying to manipulate or maneuver a situation. For themselves what you're wanting is the hierophant so you're wanting things to be orderly structured you know this is about religious or orderly um, institutionalized situations here could be marriage hierophant is about following the rules the regulations um, also it could be going to somebody for advice um, you're wanting to be maybe um, kind because the Hierophant shows mercy and you were there was the energy of six of Pentacles so you're wanting to be generous charitable you're wanting to be kind three of cups is here celebrations good times having fun with other people so what is the three of cups Clarify the Three of Cups. Okay, there's an Ace of Coin. There's a new potential, money, 
abundance, earth energy is here, a new beginning. What is this Knight of Cups energy for Aries? The Nine of Cups, a wish coming true, great big celebrations, fun, festivities, emotional satisfaction and happiness. So what is this moon energy coming into the future? Two of Pentacles, trying to maintain balance in a situation when something is uncertain. Okay, financial balance even. What is the Two of Pentacles? Why is this here? Trying to juggle, trying to just maintain balance. The Fool card, okay. Taking a leap of faith, it's also about new journeys, new beginnings. The Fool is liberation, or you have no burdens on you. There could be something here with the Nine of Swords that is really bothering you, you're very, very worried about. So you're going to become, wow, the fool's on the bottom here. Liberation, freedom, the sun comes out. There's nothing here bothering you. Um, what is the hermit energy? What is the hermit? Okay. The hermit is a spiritual sage, somebody who turns within for the answers. They meditate. They go by themselves to figure something out. High priestess is similar. This is spiritual wisdom turning within trusting your intuition what is the nine of pentacles here okay so there's something here about standing up for yourself standing up for what you believe in um being independent kind of a defensive energy if it's around you what is the magician around the aries what is the magician? The sun card. Okay. It could be a Leo. Happiness, joy, and success, though. So you come up with nine of cups. Somebody's trying to make something happy. They're trying to be happy. What is the three of cups and the ace of coin as the outcome? Wow, the death card again. It's this, there's something here that's transforming. What is the death now? What is the death for Aries? A major transformation. Scorpio energy. Wow, the seven of swords. Somebody who is sneaky or a liar or a thief or deceptive. That is going to be over. Okay, so what is this Ace of Coin? What is this Ace of Coin here? What is the Ace of Coin for Aries? Emperor. Some of you are stressing about something though. Emperor here could be a parent, a father, Nine of Swords, like very worried about something so you're turning within you're trying to figure it out spiritually like what does it mean um, nine of the death card that's symbolic of endings or major changes where it's it's done it's not going back now you're happy though with the nine of cups and the knight of cups what is the nine of cups here what is the nine of cups? So you turned away from some kind of a conflict. Two fives, which is conflict with a person. And then we have here two of wands. Like you decide to go in a different direction. And whatever that direction is, you end up really happy. Nine of coin on the bottom. Being self-sufficient, independent, not needing anyone. Okay, so what is the High Priestess energy here? What is the High Priestess? That's the moon. Okay, so something is uncertain. It could be something hidden on purpose, which would be deception. 
Um, what is the fool? What is the fool? Nine of Pentacles. Breaking free. Being independent. Earth energy towards Capricorn Virgo. The Emperor could be you, Aries. Very strong. Nine of Cups. Or Ten of Cups. The happily ever after. The rainbow after the storm. With the Knight of Cups. So some really good news comes in for you here. Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Death card. Seven of Swords. You end up as the Emperor. So, what is the Sun card around Aries? What is the Sun card around Aries? Page of Wands could be a Leo with the judgment. So, something being raised up, it's a calling. Somebody could be feeling called to help you, actually. Um,. The magician, like the magician actually fixes things. Um, it can be manipulation, but it could be somebody who's trying to maneuver and make something happen. Okay, so the outcome here was three of cups, celebrations, good times, ace of coin, emperor, death, card, death of a seven of swords, so there's no more sneaky person. There's no more thief. All right, nine of pentacles is your energy. In it's you're very independent. Um, there's a ten of cups showing up here with the fool. So liberation and freedom and deep emotional connections. What is the ten of cups right here? Some of you could be breaking free from family members too. Like if there's something holding you back or you feel criticized over here. What is the Ten of Cups and the Fool? Ten of Cups. What is Ten of Cups? Knight of Coin. Two Knights. Knight of Coin, Knight of Cups. There's two offers coming towards you. An emotional, kind message and a Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Earth energy. So there's two people that come towards you. Nine of Cups. This makes you very happy with the, the wish coming true here. Okay, so what is this Nine of Cups? Oh, it could be a competition. People are competing for your attention. What is the Nine of Cups? Hermit. Spending time alone. Could be a Virgo. And an Ace of Cups right here. Okay, so... This energy here is competitive. This is somebody who wants to win. They want to feel like they're the winner. And then here's the fire energy is going in a new direction. They're saying, I don't want any part of this. Whatever this is here. Okay, so what is this Knight of Cups offering? What is this Knight of Cups offering? Queen of Wands. So they see you as the fire sign queen. Somebody very, um, somebody who goes after what they want. It's somebody very confident, creative, energetic. And so this offer comes in. Bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. So follow your intuition. What is the High Priestess in the moon? What is it that's hidden? The hidden secret? It is a hidden secret admirer, maybe. Okay, Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. Somebody's, you're cutting off communication from someone. And there's a Ten of Cups. You're connecting only in with things that make you happy focusing on maybe family wow two of cups and the ten of cups <sighs> okay so maybe some of you are connecting back in with a partner today or friends and family members 
something is going to change with that death card. It was the Seven of Swords. It was that there's somebody who's sneaky or a liar. What is that death again in the Seven of Swords? Oh, so we have here Three of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So something is changing. What is the Queen of Pentacles? Wow, walking away or avoiding. Hmm. What is the Eight of Cups? Could be you avoiding too. Five of Pentacles. Somebody feels left out in the cold, so they decide to walk away. Knight of Wands. Hmm. There's the moon on the bottom. Something is being hidden. Okay. But there is an ace coming up. In all of this, there's an ace. I have crystals. So crystal healing energy here. Um... This is the benefit of having, you know, crystal energy around you. Quartz crystals, anything that's like a quartz based crystal or stone. That's everything I sell on my website, on my shop, um, is healing. Connects you back in with your, your spiritual self, your higher self, and your angels. Follow your heart, St. Francis. So then I got choose peace. And then I have here father, husband, brother, or son. Okay, Aries, this is your, basically your love read for today. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.